guys and welcome to another video day six of our 10 day personal growth challenge we are back to reading but today i won't be reading like i did in my last video and i'm trying to be sharing with you guys parts and chapters i loved in the book i was reading i'm on chapter 11 out of 27 chapters and yes the book is divided into five parts and i've only covered three parts so i'll be sharing with you the parts i have loved and the parts that have resonated with me greatly so part one is titled how you got this way and chapter one is all about the subconscious mind and yes i do have my notes here so if i look down no i'm just referencing and yeah so chapter one is all about the subconscious mind and how it believes all that which has because it has no filters it doesn't know the difference between what's true and what's not it simply believes what we tell it and it goes on to say that our mind our subconscious mind contains the blueprint for our lives it's just about uh the thoughts and things we plan in our minds that end up being our realities i really love the part where it describes the subconscious mind as a kid who doesn't know any better who just believes everything they are told i've been reading books and most of them of them touch on the topic of the subconscious mind being what creates our experiences or realities because of the thoughts and things we store in our um subconscious mind or what we tell our subconscious minds so all this uh, reading about the subconscious mind and storing better thoughts in our mind has been just a reminder of how I constantly have to be present in my thoughts and yeah. Chapter 3 is all about being present and you know you guys, you know that I'm all about being present and living in this moment and this has been more of a reminder of just how important it, it is for me to continue living in the space of being present in the present moment. And yes, there are kids on the other room and they're making noise. I've been trying to get them to come down, but ah, they are not buying it. So if you hear the noise on the other room, please forgive me. Yes. Chapter 6 is titled, Love the One That Is You. And I love the part that says, when we are happy and in love with ourselves, we can't be bothered with the BS, our own or other people's BS. I'm not going to get too deep into this chapter. I'm just, I'm just going to highlight the point. Uh, they had they have in the book uh, about how to go about loving the one that is you number one is to appreciate how special you are drown yourself in affirmations do things you love don't compare yourself to others let love in forgive yourself and love yourself and chapter seven is titled i know who i am but am i this is all about us not seeing our full potential and just caring about what other people think of us uh, more than with more than we care about what we ourselves think of our own selves about us making decisions about our own lives a chicken <laughs> it's about us making decisions about our own lives from a space of fear of what other people may or are thinking about us so there are tips on how to stop caring about what the, what other people think of you and just care what you think about yourself you know and just stop fearing fearing your own potential the first step is to ask yourself why why are you doing something or why are you about to say something and the next uh, tip is to learn to do your best try to do your absolute best so that you can be proud of yourself and not care what other people think uh this is my biggest one the next one is my biggest favorite and because you know guys i am an inner voice queen and that is to trust <laughs> and that is to trust your intuition use your inner guidance always it's about acquiring everyone and giving yourself the room to feel and to think you have all the answers inside of you just practice sharpening your intuition that is my total favorite how you guys understand the trouble I'm going through right here? There are chickens outside, there's kids on this side, and it's just a mess, but I'm just hoping I, you guys and kids. I hope you guys understand the mess I'm going through. There are chickens outside, there's kids this side, and I'm here trying to film, and I have to film at this moment, otherwise I won't get it. I won't have another chance to film this. So I just hope you can hear me clearly, regardless of the chaos around me. Chapter 8 is all about finding your purpose. I'm not going to go deep into this. I'm just going to share the steps they shared on how to go about finding your own purpose. The first one is be the alien. Like, erase everything you know. All the beliefs you have about life. Era about life. Erase all of that and act as if you know nothing. You are new. You are given a new life. And you, have to, and you are just starting over. 
Number two is to take the first right step. Number three is to do your best wherever you're at. Number four is to listen to your intuition, my favorite. Number last, last one, is to follow your fantasies. Those things people tell you that they are ridiculous. Follow those, follow your fantasies. So chapter 10 and the last chapter is all about meditation, which I love also. So it's just sitting down in purposeful silence for a few minutes and just being present in that moment. There is not really a way or a correct way on how to go about doing this. There are no rules. All that matters is that you do it because you want to improve your life. You guys know I do this. I meditate and it's been improving my own life. So take it from a girl who does this and know the results of meditation. Me. Take it from me, you guys and just start meditating. Start small. Five minutes, ten minutes a day and just 